It's been days. Months. Hey! You- you interrupted the- <sighs> Okay. You know what? That's great. Alright. Well, on that note, after days upon trying to figure out a new screen recorder, I think I found one. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, you t Greetings. Yeah, there it is. After days of waiting to make a new video, because I had to find a new screen recorder, I finally <sighs> had a bit of a awakening. And yeah, so I'm sitting here with someone from my old streams, and that's Eric. Say hi, Eric. Hi, Eric. Do you see what I had to do? Hmm? Do you? That don't even look like me. No. It doesn't. Nope. Anyways. Hey, stop moving. Oh, okay. Um. Hey, don't you. Don't you move. Freeze. Thank you. Fargalicious Make them boys go crazy. Boys got the round and staring at my push pop. That's what I was gonna say. I said it's all time. But yeah. Let's um I'm gonna stare and stare at him for a minute. Alright, long enough. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to number one, make better coasters. Number two, add scenery for those coasters. Number three overall improve the way that your park looks and uh yeah eventually we'll move on to buildings like this and some extra pieces for them. oh come back okay anyways let's get right into the video so in general for just making parks look better um curve paths that's one thing you're gonna have curved paths it makes everything look better it makes it so that you can have certain area parts even sometimes just the straightaway is the right way to go to make a curved path I'm not gonna get that little centerpiece in there but that's all right you just want to keep it a very short distance and depending on the size of your path you're just it's gonna be different so one for a smaller path would look like that so you're just doing two by two and you want to keep it as short distance as possible. Alright? I feel like we can do that. Yeah. So that's that. Clicking. Don't you just... Oh, clicking. Don't you just love it? And then, for let's say a 3x3, three three, you're going to have that... The You're going to go down two more. So it should kind of look like that. All the way around. Yeah. I don't really know how to properly explain that but yeah that's how you make a curved path and if it's just gonna be a one then just just drag it just drag it at this point but yeah that's uh that's one part of just making your parks look better moving on to coasters all right so I'm gonna utilize the curved path here and we're going to start going into the station, but this is just a little loop around into the coaster station. And we're not going to do that in this video, but if you want to know how to make, you know, some pretty good looking stations for your ride, just comment down below. But first, you want to know that you have enough space. It, space is going to be really important if you're going for big coasters wooden coasters anything that you want and that's just gonna go into there um this tree idea was inspired by you know super duper noob theme park tycoon whatever you prefer to call her but it's more extended so all i do is put two trees on top of each other blend them in and then i choose these colors right here i choose one darker one lighter and then one that's more kind of faded, and that's what gives you that look. Which is just a more colorful style. It's not too bad. Oh, oh, that was way too tall. Way too tall. Oh, oh, mistakes. Okay. But yeah, 
if you want to utilize it just feel free now you twist that once twist that one twice and you get more of a you know just kind of a more natural look to them some of them lean a little bit which is nice and I've seen this in some parks and I'm going to touch up on it when you build parks do not just place them down in a row what you want to do is spread them out and press R which rotates it as you move along it gives you a better look if you don't have disabled collisions that's that's what I would go for and I usually put trees at the bay bada ba -ba, palm trees which is nice so I'm gonna go in fill this up a little bit because we, we want it to have a a nice feel to it a nice homey feel um, probably should have done this part before but I'm gonna go in and paint if I can get it aha to a brown because it looks more like dirt even though it's called brown rock we're just gonna call it dirt because dirt is what makes everything look pretty nice we want two of these bushes and then you obviously want some nice little rocks just kind of fill everything in and then we can do path stuff later like these lamps pretty pretty self-explanatory but just in case you don't know just post down in the comment section now onto the coaster itself the station is now done and if you guys want a video for stations comment down below and we can make one but there you got the blood fall kind of being there as you walk up to it that being the station walk through that's over here is where the coaster will come through towards the end and that's where it will officially end a good thing is just kind of getting everything set up before you do it having some names for them and then you come up here you got the station I got that idea from another planet coaster I don't know or I said planet coaster, another uh, theme park tycoon person that right there was not even all right and if we come over here we got these which still came from the same person to use I think it was a pretty good idea same thing over here until I choose an exit point and then you come straight back down through here and right out to the little sign that says exit and that's the station as I said if you guys want a video for stations comment down below and we can make that but getting into coasters so if we go right here and I will be showing you how to use advanced editor um, for another spot like that this is a nice little tip for if you want to have your coasters go over something like that just kind of get that probably yeah yeah we can do that and then I'm grabbing another one of those pieces right there if it'll let me and kind of just goes with the station a little bit theming right and so now add selected piece we're just gonna go straight with it from here probably just extend that a bit more to give us more wiggle room bring it down shorten it up bring it down or actually I'm gonna use this it's really good with making coasters a little bit more smooth so I can just drag it down and then snap it there we go for stations or like lifts I like to just use this it makes it a bit easier chain lift Once you get at a sizable distance, give them one of those, top it off, and now your official coaster begins. So just drop it, bring it out, snap it. Actually, more about there. And something I've really gotten into lately was. When I bring it down, I go down, even further down, 
in a little bit and then I'll start to kind of curve it back out oh not mean to do that bring it on down and so I'll back up hmm might be able to extend that piece a little bit more and then extend that yeah that right there oh you don't want to snap it when you're building oh that's like the worst thing ever okay so now you got stuff like that bring it on out you want to try to get that as smooth looking as possible. Perfect smooth shape. And bring it on up. We need to give it a tiny little hill right here. Hmm. I'll bring it up to about there probably should even go even higher and see this is one thing that you need to get used to with this editor is that you are going to make a lot of mistakes with it And you all, for this park, I guess this could be one of the bigger coasters, you could say. Just a little bit. Probably about there is where I can... This is actually a great time to show you guys. So when rotating, or banking, I would drag that all the way that way. So that when you swing it... It'll swing your cart a bit more smooth, I guess you could say. And actually, I'm going to give it one of these. Hmm. Where is over here? Aha. Uh -huh. So... We're going to get this set up. Hmm. <laughs> We're actually going to make it go down left no it's not what I meant to do but it's fine of course you know we're gonna go down left and then up left and then we're gonna look for where is it there And immediately just try to give you something smooth to come out of.
I got an idea on how to handle that. No, 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 no. I'm gonna bring it down that way. Straighten her out. Bring it back down a little bit. First, we can get it to where it's upside down above this track and start to bring it back down over the track. And we'll try to get her to go that way. And as low as you can. And then that's when you can quickly. No. Oh, that's why. Uh huh. I'm smart. That way. Yeah, that should be fine. Still want that turn in there so it doesn't feel too weird on the ride when we straighten it out. Now I'm just kind of creating a wavy pattern for it so when we come back into the station it's not too rough for them. Straighten it back out. Dropping it back.
And then about there you can snap it back to the grid. Probably about here. Add another chain loop so it has something to grip onto by the time it gets up to that point. And then all you gotta do, back here, chain lift. And then just bring her back in. Mm -hmm. Let's ride her and see what she does. Ooh, there we go. Oh, can't forget. Custom operations, about 200, brake speed. Raise that up to about 150. Track friction. This is something you gotta test, by the way. Definitely track friction for your ride specifically. Anyways, let me shut up and enjoy the ride. All right, so that was Demon, you guys. <laughs> now, for ride decoration, depending on what you create, for me, oh, there it is. I'm a genius. No. Um, I'm going to use a bit of a broken house to call the demon, so why not have something a bit more themed, I guess. Probably going to leave that open add a little bit of broken pieces over there. Make it look more run down. We're gonna need some windows. Someone there like that. Two there like no 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 no. One like that. There we go. Kind of make it more of a rundown shed than anything. Like that.
There we go. Why are you deep sniffing over there? We heard that. And then for those extra pieces. Just kind of add some of that in there. Just adds more frame to it. Makes it look more run down. Oh, oh. Okay. And then for the fun of it. We can go ahead. Oh, we're just gonna make the whole thing black. It makes it easy. We're gonna make them drop into some good old smoke. And I'm out of money. That's great. Hmm. So, I guess I will be back until I get some more money so we can continue this. Why aren't you ever prepared for anything? Okay guys, kid of prepared here five days later. Don't look at that. It's ugly and it's what made me $400,000. Okay, so I did some stuff off camera for this. It's going to be a later thing, and we're going to figure out how to smooth that out and do stuff like this. But, yeah. If you want to use that idea, except we're going to put some more scenery there. Bushes, rocks, more bushes and rocks, bushes and rocks, seats, all that fun stuff. Ew. Fun stuff. Okay. Also, another little thing to know. Is that you always want to have some type of fence here all this one is three up thick piece of wood and eh, there you go roof pieces on either side and it just makes that you can take that design wherever you want to for your own park just feel free to use it you know and this one's going to go around the whole coaster. I just have to completely finish it. And we're going to learn about some trees. Trees and stuff. And for the first... No wonder, I kind of lost where I was. Makes sense. Hmm. Can we use that one? Can that one just peek over? Yes, it can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one there, rotate it, put one there, and then, where's my, there it is. There you go. You just kind of have this little, nice little covered up area, and it looks pretty good from the ride. You just want to make sure it doesn't collide with any riders, or, you know, realistically, <laughs> you die. Uh, you know? That's something you got to watch for right there anyway we're gonna go back this way and continue what we were doing so obviously when you use wood walls like that you want to have the thickest piece of wood pole that you can put there all it does is just add more color to it and more depth What are you laughing about? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Is something funny over there? No. Didn't think so. Sorry. It will be. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Hold on down. Love me, Mom. Okay. Now that that's done, we can start painting the terrain underneath. And this one's called the demons so we're gonna use the these right here and then some dry grass because everyone loves dry grass dry grass helps 
And so, what I would do is get all of that. I don't know where all of that starts. I should have done that way before. But I didn't. Because I'm kid of prepared. Not. Um. Right there. Yeah. Quick note. Do that before you do anything else. It just helps. Okay, so I'm going to just try to... Uh, so much walking. Walking should be faster. In my opinion, right there, right there, right there, and right there. Now I can just kind of click back into the spot, just randomly. And obviously, you want to do what I said earlier about everything. You want to wait until you at least get the coaster done, so that you know what you're doing, so you have a spot. Eh, eh, eh. I'll make it, Dad. I'll make it. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. <laughs> you want to use this just like a normal paint tool. Okay, now that that's done, we can start throwing in patches of brown rock. Kind of make it different in areas. And then I'll have to... Oh, I didn't get a single spot there. I am good at this. Anyways, back to painting. You just want to make it more like... just like a normal painting tool like in sims or if you never work with a paint tool then I don't know what to tell you just practice with it just draw draw certain shapes that you think would look good and then just kind of go from there you know see this I'm not gonna add too much of I just want it to look connected or kind of Spaced out and yet connected. That's a better way to say it. Don't want to make it too big, too small. Well, it's just kind of my preference. <sighs> Run faster. There we go. Now I can bring it down that way. Now it seems like it's connected to something, I think. No. There we go. Go back in. Probably get that out, throw that in there. There we go. We just want less of the... Less of this. And not too squared. Just kind of want it to be random, you know? Alright. And... Ah. Got too scary. Um, get some trees. A little tree there for inspiration. A little tree there. A little brush of excitement. I'm gonna try to get some more lined up right there. If we can. And yes, sir. We can. Number one, those will just take up a little bit more space. They're just a bit more expensive. So that's just kind of why I'm... Oh, that's unfortunate for me, isn't it? Okay. And you want to make sure that you do definitely have enough space. So even right there, I know that it... Or do I? Um, yeah, it comes up from there and curves around this way so that right there should be enough space for that that right there should be a close call 
that's just what I'm gonna call it. I know they're called head choppers, but <sighs> kid logic. And you want to try to stay from underneath the rail because it deletes the support. And you don't want a coaster without supports. It just looks weird. It looks unnecessary. Kind of get some there. And then one there. Not too much over here. Just kind of using it to hide more of that track a little bit. Okay. Now, for people with disabled collisions, I would recommend turning it off when you're going back in to do these kind of trees or just trees in general especially after you get those big ones set my god so now I can just kinda place them without having to worry about it I'm gonna get those colors done first because I don't wanna have to go back in because that sucks this way <gasps> offended Oh, I know which one I can do for that, but I don't want to find that right now. No! Listen to me. Ooh. Ooh. This is a time when you could... No. Right there, you can do that. Actually, right there, you want to remove that. Oh, oh, that did not touch, but that was, that was terrifying. I'm going to, I'm going to make sure when it comes back. And also you can go into the support. Just make sure you don't place it like right there. That would, that would not be the most educated thing to do. There we go. Whew, now that most of your big trees are placed, just go around, rotate it, fill up the small. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to have to re all color all of those, so I'm going to do that before. Which is smart. Very smart. So all I'm doing is placing and rotating. And trying to stay away from those supports. One here. Some all the way around that tree, make it look nice and important. Ha. Ha. There's that. Some in there. Yes, 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 a little tree for inspiration. Send Bob Ross. And then no one ever. Huh. And yes, yes, this wall is going to be finished. Yep, 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 yep. You want to make sure that you finish everything. Because then if you don't, then it's going to look very lazy. And that's not what we're about. No. Laziness is for lazy people, and lazy people is not us. That's how I feel. Oh. 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 Some near, some near, some there. And I want people to remember while I do this, it's basic. This is just simple basic coaster design, coaster decoration. Just a little bit of basic everything at the moment. We'll get more in here together later on. But we're just, we're just slowly going to build on top of it. Because, yeah. We're not going to go too fast, not too slow. Except for the five days I had to wait for money. But uh, you know what? Now I'm kid of prefer. I can't speak. 
kid of prepared. Ah, I wasn't prepared to say that word. So am I really kid of prepared? Oh. Exposed. And the reason why I didn't put as many trees down here of like these ones? So you don't want too many big trees. And then if you do, you do oh. You just want to be able to do it a little bit later. Turn it away. Right there. And so now, you just kind of see a coaster that goes in and out of certain areas. And then for bushes, same thing with the trees, except you can go a bit more crazy with them. Now you don't have to worry about them getting in the coaster's way. Nobody saw that. That was a great example of why not to do that. Hashtag edumacated. Get all that kind of covered over there. This covered. I just round it up. You don't want it something to be too. <gasps> don't you dare. Also, be very cautious with bushes, apparently. Because they don't like to stay in one place. No. Unfortunate. Alright. Alright. I see you. Don't. Alright. Alright. Don't mind that I just got hit by my own roller coaster. It's fine. It's a domestic food bird. Where coasters like to hit their maker. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're sort of getting somewhere. Mm -hmm. Where are them round bushes at? Right there. So now these ones you can just put <clears throat> a little bit more in places, kind of make everything a bit more dense, I guess you could say. I'm just slowly following. Trying not to get any of them in supports. <gasps> Offended on so many levels. There it is. Making sure I didn't get any of those. There we go. Looks about right. <laughs> So when you stand out from over here, it just looks a bit better. And for spotlights, those you can do however you want them. But for lower tracks, that's where I would try to keep it. You don't want to go up too high with it. Like for that, if you have disabled collisions, just put it in a bush. And then work out the brightness and color and the range. Because apparently that's not good enough.
So then if it does that... Actually, that's not, that's not a bad view, that goes apart. Not going to lie. And then, once again, with these, <laughs> just put them in a tree. It really works, as seen on TV. Just in case you didn't know, that's a secret to lighting coasters. Just kidding, I just kind of came up with that. That is such a smart idea. I can't believe I didn't come up with that one even sooner. Just put it in a tree. No one sees that. Oh. It's that guy. We're not going to question him. Alright, well, I'm gonna finish up the wall, and then, yeah, that'll be pretty much it from this tutorial, and I could just do that off screen, considering now you know, but yeah, if you guys want more stuff like just coaster outsides, like outside of the coaster wall, just kind of making it look better, sectioning it off, or paths or stations and buildings in nature pretty much everything else in this, this game that you guys want to know more coaster builds how to make better supports I can do that one but yeah other than that guys whew, took about five days but we did it we did it yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and just ask for more down in the comments down below. Yep. See you guys.